Alrighty, Captains. Today we're going to be talking about aspect ratios. Now, either you might have gone to a venue or this might have been you. Uh, you are looking at your input ratio and it looks absolutely fine. But then you turn and look at the LED wall and all of a sudden your circles are no longer circles. Uh, anyone that knows me will know that's the one thing I fear the most, uh, non-circular circles. So today we're going to be uh, looking at a simple plugin I built in wire that'll help you achieve circles again. And that wire is called Fix Your Aspect Ratio Version 2. Now let's just apply this into an open layer and see what it does. So looking at the uh, parameters of this effect, we have LED resolution X to so say we can something like 240 and LED resolution Y we can say 480. Uh, we've got a flashing rate and two colors. Now that's just so we can switch the colors up. Um, ignore this side for now. Now the first thing this um, plugin does is it puts flashing bars in places in our composition where we are not should not be sending to an LED wall. The next thing it does is it gives us a set input to. Now this value here is taking the resolution of the LED wall and scaling that up so it fits best within your current composition. So right now my composition is 1920 by 1080. And this is saying, all right, the largest I can scale it in vertical is 1080. So the largest I should be going in Y is 540. Now I'm going to reset this back to the values I had at the start, because this is for this setup. So 1280 by 512 is the resolution for the LED wall at Red Room. So how do we go from this look to this look? Now, the first way it would be obviously to go into our advanced output, so our advanced output. And then here on our screen one, slice one, instead of picking up the entire of the 1920 by 1080, we can then shrink it down to conveniently, it says this number right here. So 1920, 1080 becomes 1920 by 768. Save and close. And quickly, you just notice straight away that if we take this effect off, the circles are circles on both of them. So this, this version allows us to keep our aspect ratio normally in here, but not to stretch or switch anything inside our advanced output. Now let's jump back into the advanced out and show you how this actually works. So our input looks fairly normal, but our output is actually stretched upwards. Now, a lot of the time you'll find this sort of squished look effect inside of LED walls where the LED output is basically just squashing the entire 1920 down into whatever resolution is available there. Um, this is not how I would program an LED wall, but a lot of venues do actually run their sender cards like this. So this is the best way I can find to do it. Now, say for example, we didn't want to mess around too much with the advanced input mapping. So I'm just gonna reset this back the way it was. So I'm gonna say the input is actually taking the entire output there. Now inside of our output, this is what we'd be seeing on our LED wall. We can actually come down to our composition and go to our effects here. I would search for transform and I'll drag a new transform underneath everything else that you have inside your composition. So your composition tab, so you've got clip, layer, composition. Underneath all of your other effects, drag a new transform, go to the scale, drop down the little arrow, and here we can adjust the vertical scale. And you can adjust it fine with fine tune by just clicking it back and forth. And what we're gonna do is use those flashing bars just to scale it up enough that it's no longer gonna have those flashing bars. So now, everything that's in our composition is gonna look stretched to us. But because of the way that the LED wall is going to crunch it back down, it's going to look absolutely fine on the LED wall. And that is probably the most important thing. None of the punters are going to care how it looks in our resolution feed. So this works. Um, and again, like I said, the reason I like to do it with a new transform is I can just come here and bypass that. And then we're back to the way we had it before. So the two ways that we described here of doing it were coming into applying the aspect ratio effect, looking at the new input map it's telling us to do, going to our advanced output in the input section, we would then set this new number 768. And then that would then bite only that correct session there and send it to the full screen output. Realistically, what we would love to see 
is this would actually be set to 1280, 768. Oh, sorry, 512. And you can see here, even if it is put back to the way I would normally have an LED sender, it is still in perfect aspect ratio as opposed to it being squished and horrible. So yeah, that is how I would go about fixing the aspect ratio inside of your arena file. I hope this makes sense and I look forward to not seeing any more ovals on screens from now on. Have a good day.